Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to get the colors or the textures from Scandi Pro, the scanning software for the iPhone, the 3D scanning software for the iPhone. Um, I'm going to show you the scan of Eva's head that I did with Scandi Pro. So here it is, um, Scandi Pro right there and then Right there it is, Eva's head. I have a couple of them, but I'll show you one of them here. So here it is, a 3D scan of Eva's head. Of course, there's lots of uh, uh, impurities here, so I have to take it and clean up all the colors and all the uh, mesh that are all over the place there and fix it all up in a 3D program. Okay, so I've... Uh, exported the scan from the Scanty Pro as .poy um, so the 3D program we're going to use today to get the Scanty Pro texture is called Blender it's right here I have a Blender now Blender is also a free 3D software you can download and use and you know make your own 3D models or whatnot but we're going to use this uh, Blender to go ahead and get the textures out of the Scanty Pro scan .ply. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to get rid of this cube here. I'm going to delete the camera, delete the light source. I'm going to go ahead file and I'm going to go import and stand for PLY. So .ply is what Scanny Pro exported it as. Click that. I'm going to go to the location where I saved Eva's 3D scan. So here it is, EVA 3D scan. I'm gonna hit import. Um, now the scan of the head is uh, pretty big, so it'll take a few seconds to load it. But we'll just give it a few seconds here. Okay, so here we go. We got the the head loaded. Now, like I said, I've already um, cleaned it up. You know, got rid of all those messy meshes that were all over the place. And I've already filled up some of these holes just real quickly. Um, I didn't want to do anything uh, real that it was going to take a while uh, to clean up. But I just wanted to do it real quick so I can show you guys how to get the texture. Because when you um, import the .poy to a 3D program, it doesn't give you the textures or the colors. And you'll have to... Uh, assign that or put it on to your 3d model uh, right now the 3d model is just a uh, grayscale you know clay model and nothing else no colors no nothing so now i'm it is a pretty big head here so i'm going to size it down a little just just a little bit here so okay okay so here we go um okay so like uh by default, most POIs, obviously, when you scan with a, with your iPhone or whatever device you scan with, when you're done with the scan, it has colors. So the .poy does have, uh, by default, color with it. So um, to check the uh, if it actually came with color, um, you got to go to the object, select your uh, scan here, go to the... Uh, object data uh, right here click it then go to vertex colors right here vertex colors and uh, click that little arrow next to it and you see where it says col that means the actual the vertex did come with colors so the colors is right here so we gotta get this color onto the 3d model so um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to pull up the, the bottom side here. So I have two screens here and I'm going to take this timeline here to shader editor. Okay, so I am using uh, Blender version 2.8. Um, so I'm going to pull up the shader here and then we're going to select our model, our head model here. And then we're going to go to um, materials here and create a new material. Then it's going to bring up the nodes here. So there's two nodes here already. So we're just going to keep these two nodes. Now what I'm going to do is add another node 
an attribute node. So we're gonna go Shift A add, and just look for attributes. Now in here where it says name, I'm gonna go ahead and type the name of the vertex color over here. It's called capital C O L. But it is case sensitive, so I'm gonna go capital C O L enter. Now this attribute node now has that vertex color from the scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the color here and plug it into the the surface of the material output node. And there you go. You got the vertex color right there. So it's pretty simple to get the vertex color from the dot ply or the Scanny Pro scan here. Now I did, like I said, I did fix it, but I didn't fix the colors on it. I just fixed the holes and all the other meshes that were all over the place. So here we go. We got our uh, texture here of Eva's head, head scan. And then you can fix these colors here in here on Blender as well. And there are other programs you can use to fix colors as well, like ZBrush and whatnot. But um, you can also do it here in Blender as well. So there we go. Pretty quick and easy to get the texture. So what I'm going to do next is, now these textures, they come the default with .poy. So if you, it'll only stay with the POY. So if you, for example, if you export it out as a different extension then the colors aren't going to go with it so um so how are we going to get the colors to go with it if we were to export it out for example as an fbx or something well you can bake the colors to give yourself a texture map and then that texture map you can apply to any um any extension that you decide to export this out so I'm going to show you how to also bake the texture map. Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and try to get that texture map. So first thing we need to do is uh, add UVs to your uh, 3D model here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, press F3 and we're going to do a smart UV project. So. I'm going to go ahead and put the UV on the 3D model here. So I'm going to click OK. Now it does take a while to get the UV depending on how big your uh, scan is. So I'm going to hit OK here and we'll wait. Okay, so we finally got the uh, UV onto the uh, 3D model here. So um, down here at the uh, at the shader here, we're going to add another node. Uh, Shift A to add, and we're going to uh, add a texture image texture node. All right. So here we go. Image texture node. I'm going to set it right there. Okay. So I'm going to pull up another screen here. Whoops. I'm going to pull up another screen here. So we have three. All right, and on this one, we're going to do the UV editor, and we're going to click new, and we're going to call this Eva's, Eva Head Texture, and we're going to hit OK. So it's a blank texture, there's nothing on it, so we want to get the textures from here onto here as an image texture or you know a, a texture map so do that we'll have to bake it now the image texture here is uh, make sure you have the head selected and this selected and you want to choose um, Eva's head down here right there Eva's head on this node uh, as the image texture node so uh, now to bake it we're gonna have to go to uh, render here and then choose bake uh, but you have to be in cycles render so um, change it from ev render to cycles render then you'll see the bake show up so on the bake here we're going to go ahead and use emit so we're going to choose emit and we're going to go ahead and go ahead and hit bake so what that'll do is 
we will get the textures or the colors from Eva's head here and project it onto this map. And then this map is an image texture, which is a map to put these colors onto this head. So when you export this out as an FBX or an OBJ or something other than .PLY, you can then um, go ahead and assign this image texture to the to the uh, model to get your colors. So I'm going to go ahead and hit bake here. And there it is. So we got the image uh, texture here or the texture map of Eva's head. With this texture map, uh, you can export the PLY here to FBX. And then when you use it in other or uh, import it back to Blender, you can just go ahead and map this map as a node or a, you know or pick over here uh, as an image and put it onto the head and you'll get the same colors back so once you have it um, once you have it baked here like this you can just go up to here and uh, image here and said save as and Eva's head texture dot PNG and you can save it to wherever you like and just hit save and then once you get the uh, image texture, you can go ahead and export this PLY out as any other any other uh, uh, extension you like. And then you have that map to go ahead and add the textures back to it once you have it in a different format. So it's, it's not too hard, it's pretty simple. Um, so I'm gonna show you what, um, after I've cleaned this up, uh, I'm going to show you how I can use Eva's head uh, as projects or uh, for other fun things you can do. You can even do 3D printing if you like and print it out. Um, you can just export it as, you know, STL and most print 3D printers will be able to print it. Okay, so here we are. I have Eva's head here onto the body of D.Va from uh, Overwatch, the Overwatch game. So I've already cleaned up Eva's head here, filled, uh, colored the uh, holes here and color her face here that had a blue streak best I can. Um, I know I can do better, but just a rush job. So here's Eva's head on uh, D.Va from Overwatch. Uh, I've added armature to it. Armature is simply bones. Um, so you can animate it, animate the character. Blender can now, you can now animate the character with these armatures. The armatures will move and then the, uh, uh, what is it? The body will move with the armature. So that's, uh, one, uh, one, one thing you can do with having a head scan is you can add your head to, uh, many different bodies and animate them and then, uh, use them. In your projects, your videos, and whatnot. So we have Eva here on Diva's body, and that's one example of what you can use the 3D head scan for. Um, of course, you can also, you know, do 3D scans for printing as well. So, and that is all we have for today. And I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. And um, Try yourself, try it on your, try it for yourself. Thank you for watching.